Hi! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. I would really appreciate it. Soon. Uh, this was recommended, requested that I do a reaction in this one. They're from Malaysia and they're a duo, sisters, I believe. And um, Malaysians actually had a big night at the Oscars several weeks ago. M uh, Michelle Yeoh, which is a, uh, a Malaysian singer, uh, sorry, a Malaysian actress, actually won Best Actress for Everything Everywhere. Um, all at once <laughs> she won best actress at the oscars congratulations congratulations malaysia and uh, let's go to song i don't know what um the the title of the song means Okay, visually, it's very interesting. So the contrast of black and white. So I still, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure what the song is about. But the contrast, like visually, this is a, an interesting one. Because when it opened, I felt like, oh, this is one of those preppy, sweet kind of a group. And then she appeared and, oh, oh maybe not. <laughs> okay, but, okay, so they're singing the same exact uh, melody. So let's see if it's going to progress. Okay. Let's up the volume a little bit. So is this like a modern version of a traditional Malaysian clothing? That's a question because I'm not sure. Because I feel like there's some touch of traditional clothing unless it's just because of the silk that's throwing me off and then they just modernize it. Uh, it I, I'm really impressed with Malaysian choreography, girl, uh, girl group choreographies. There, even in K-pop, there's a tendency for girl groups to be all about butt popping, you know, <laughs> you know popping their asses and their booties, um, grinding and stuff. But so far with with Dala, I have not seen that. Of course, there's there's some parts of it, but generally, it feels like when the when they're choreographed, they're just choreographed as dancers, not necessarily playing on their their female sexuality and it's the same thing here these are some great choreography that would look that would fit even a boy band okay so it feels like it's like giving into love is the story So one can sing and rap. So I'm wondering if the other one can do the same thing. So it's not about butt popping I, and I appreciate that because they're like given the chance to actually display their skill and use their skill in dancing. So it's not just about playing on their sexuality. Great. Okay. Um, so on the wrapping, there were two different flows. She used two different flows. So this is one flow. This is a different flow. Okay, 
that's rare. So I don't know if it's just actually a rapper or it was taught to rap. Um, but it's rare for 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 idols to actually have that ability to shift your flow in the same uh, part of the song. I don't like that red thing on her. It's getting in the way of me appreciating her body lines when she's dancing. That. Oh, so the other one is the belt. Okay. That's one hell of a bridge. It's actually pretty impressive how they're able to use levels, even though there's only two of them. That's one. Um, I like their extensions. So this is, I've mentioned this several times, but one of the key things that idols should actually really watch out for is the way that they extend their bodies when they're dancing. They need to finish the move. So if the finish, if the move actually calls for you to raise your hand, you need to raise your hand up high. <laughs> Because that's one way to make the dance look better when you're executing it. And all props, just <laughs> I need to compliment them because they're doing that. The body extensions when they're moving, they're fully extending their limbs. So the dance actually looks better. So when they're pop, they're actually popping here. It's just a head actually, but... It looks good because they're giving it their all. There. See how they've extended. They've actually completed the move. There. It looks happier. This is so different from how they opened. Okay. So, I, I want to know what that sign is that she did in the end. Um, that's one. And then the other thing is, I one thing that I like about the entire song, actually, not just the music video, is that they're not pushing it. It feels a little bit more organic in terms of messaging. There's so many groups, girl groups out there who talk about nothing but, in, you know, being empowered. I'm a powerful woman. I'm this and that. Like, I wear these clothes and brands or whatever. <laughs> it feels like, oh my God, <laughs> the same message again. So this is, um, this is different without having to, to um, downplay the power that they have as women. Because it's just them saying that I'm just going to go for what I want because I know it's going to be okay. Like things are going to, maybe things are going to get screwed up or whatever, but I'm just going to do what I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'll be fine. So this is a different take because it doesn't really speak of the victory, but the process of what you go through in order for you to get to where you are. So yeah, you need that, you need that courage to just do it, right? Because you can't. It can't always be logic. It can't always be training. At some point, you just need that courage in order to get you through and to, to actually sustain your um, drive to get to where you want to be. So I appreciate that kind of messaging. It's a little different. Um, I really am interested 
to know whether the co- the clothing, the styling that they had was actually inspired by local uh, Malaysian traditional clothing. I think the pink one when they were dancing in the earlier part of, of the video, I think that was a little inspired or maybe it's just a silk. So let me know for any Malaysians out there. Um, yeah, I, I, I think they're starting. So it's a good start. They're not quite there yet but it's a good start and i would love to see more of them i am interested in seeing where they're gonna go like how they're going to evolve and i also want to know whether they actually contributed in the creation of the song that's it thank you for recommending them um if you have any more recommendations let me know leave them in the comment section below and also please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification button i would really appreciate it and share the video if you can um and you can also get in touch with me in any of the social media links that you see on your screen. Or I don't know if I said that already. <laughs> okay, thank you. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Till next time.